Let's start with the strategy itself. The core, as you said, is using these machine learning algorithms to find patterns. Mm -hmm. They essentially fed them historical data specifically, lagged weekly returns from those 47 non-U.S. markets, both market level and stock level, to see if that past foreign performance could predict future daily returns for stocks in the S&P 500. Got it. So looking for those like early warnings maybe from overseas markets about what might happen here tomorrow or the next day, what kind of ML tools did they bring to bear on this? They used a pretty diverse toolkit, actually. There was Lasso, which is really good for variable selection, sort of zeroing in on the important stuff and ignoring the rest, keeping things simpler. Right, cuts through the noise. Then they had tree-based methods like random forest and gradient boosted trees. These are generally quite powerful, good at finding complex patterns, and usually pretty robust against overfitting, which is always a risk. Okay. And they also threw in neural networks, you know, to see if there were maybe even more complex nonlinear relationships hidden in there that the other models might miss.